What's up, people? Welcome back. Today, we are going to talk about Bitdefender, one of the bigger names in the antivirus software space. And in this review, I will give you my opinion with all the new cyber threats that just keep emerging. Is it still one of the best options for you to stay safe online? So this review is based on my personal experience with Bitdefender and the actual tests that I've done on the latest version. Staying safe online and keeping all of my devices operating correctly, it's a major priority. So let's talk about the features that I think will make Bitdefender stand out, as well as go over some of the features that need some improvement. So we'll check out their plans, their pricing, and everything else I think you should know. I will also walk you through the pros, the cons, and the plans, and hopefully that will help you make your choice of whether or not Bitdefender is the right choice for you and if you find this review helpful in any way and you want to show the channel some love like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to see more of my honest reviews i research and talk about all sorts of cool stuff and also as you already know i review brands and i share what i know about them so hopefully it will help people choose what's right for them now if you do decide to try bitdefender I will get a small kickback if you use the link down in the description below. It doesn't cost you anything and you will get a bit of a discount, which you won't actually get if you just buy directly from their website. So it's a win for both of us. So if you haven't already heard about Bitdefender, it's one of the top names in the antivirus software known for having some of the best free antivirus protection you can get since hit the market, I think back in 2001, it's established itself as one of the best antivirus subscriptions available. I checked it out because, well, it's won many awards. Product of the year four times from company, a company called AV Comparatives, an independent Austrian body that does tests and assesses antivirus software. So let's just start with their pricing and some of the main features, which by the way, all comes with a 30 day money back guarantee so you can try out any plan you want before you commit to paying anything. Now, of course, they do have a free version, which actually just might be the best free antivirus software out there. It offers strong basic protection for Windows, Android and Mac. And of course, free protection is better than nothing at all. But if you want the best protection, you should really think about investing in a subscription service that gives you a ton of different protective services that no free version will just ever compare to. And for more regular Windows users, and what I mean by that is you're not a business or a serious user, you're an everyday person just on their computer. They do recommend Bitdefender Antivirus Plus. So this starts at 24 bucks for one device and around 35 for three devices. Your PC, well, it'll be protected from malware, spyware, adware, and ransomware with scans for the usual threats like viruses, worms, and trojans, plus nastier stuff like ransomware, zero day exploits, rootkits, and spyware. Now on the basic plan, you have privacy tools like a built-in but very limited VPN, and your online purchases are secured with Bitdefender's safe pay feature. The vulnerability assessment tool scans for security issues like outdated software, unsafe system settings, and missing Windows security patches. And to catch problematic apps, there's a feature called Advanced Threat Defense that continuously monitors all the processes running on your computer for suspicious activities like copying files or installing drivers that can see what you're doing outside of the app. The ransomware protection feature also helps you make backups of your most important files so you're protected from data loss or, well, if anything does actually happen. The next best option for Windows users with kids is Bitdefender Internet Security, and that starts at 50 bucks for the first year on up to three devices. This will give you more advanced protection with the addition of a firewall and some parental control tools so you can keep your kids safe. The firewall protects your actual network connection and has advanced functions if you are more tech savvy. But look, even if you're not, it's still very easy and it's very effective on the actual automatic settings. 
and their parental controls help you protect your kids from potentially harmful content, limit screen time, and basically they'll let you see what your kids are doing online. All you have to do is literally log into Bitdefender Central remotely to see what your kids are actually up to. And if you are like me and you use multiple platforms, then Bitdefender Total Security protects up to five devices across all operating systems. So this works on Windows, Mac, Android and iOS for only 60 bucks for the first year. This is the way I went because like I said, it runs on all platforms and does include all the features I've already mentioned with the addition of a device optimizer. So to explain what a device optimizer can do for your computer's performance, my computer, it was slowing down. I was thinking about buying a new one and then I installed Total Security and used the optimization tools started running much faster. It wasn't peak performance, right? It's, it's an older computer, so it's not running peak, but it was definitely a lot faster and a lot cleaner. For example, there were no more pop-ups or annoying screens that opened right when I turned on my computer. It did take a few minutes to scan my computer, but it was worth it because it freed up a ton of space. It repaired some things and optimized my browsers and actually adjusted my Windows settings until everything was running safely and smoothly. Now, if, if you have a big family, the Bitdefender Family Pack gives complete antivirus protection on every system for up to 15 devices for a one-year cost of only $70. And if you want even more security across all operating systems like identity theft protection and monitoring, then there are three options for Bitdefender Premium Security, which starts at 80 bucks for the first year and goes up to 120 if you add insurance for identity theft, alerts on your bank cards, and investment account monitoring. It's great protection with the whole suite of advanced features, plus you get a password manager and an unlimited version of the VPN, which is huge because it's actually restricted to 200 megabytes on all of their other plans. So keep that in mind. And again, if you decide you want to try out Bitdefender and you want to save a bit more money, then check out the link down in the description below to get the discount I mentioned earlier, which again, you don't get if you go straight to their website. Now, let's talk about how easy or hard Bitdefender is and more importantly, what it's like to actually use it. And as I said, I have total security on all my devices. And while installation wasn't the quickest on my PC because it's a big file, it's not difficult even for non-techies. Once you set it up, the app is very clear and easy to navigate. There's a dashboard that displays your status and options for quick actions you can take. All of the advanced functions are grouped under three tabs. You have protection, privacy, and utilities. And if you look under protection, you will find all of the antivirus tools, including real-time protection, firewall controls, and options like setting up ransomware countermeasures. So what do we do? We run a few scans to test out Bitdefender and check if the software still holds up. You can choose from four types of scans, a quick scan, which scanned over 3000 files in just about three minutes to literally a whole system scan, which scanned my whole system in less than 30 minutes. This scan found four malicious files that I actually put on my hard drive with real time protection turned off. There's also a custom scan any vulnerability scan that lasts literally about five minutes and reports any outdated software, system changes, or things that may need some improvement. Having used and tested the Bitdefender malware scanner, I can honestly say that it is a great security tool. It's thorough, it's quick, and it doesn't take over your machine's resources or even slow it down while scanning. Now, the privacy tab, that includes all the functions that protect your info and keep your anonymous online. Here you can find the VPN, safe pay and parental controls. The VPN uses the super fast Catapult Hydra protocol to reroute your IP address, but it is limited to 200 megabytes a day. So you will have to get a premium plan to get unlimited use. So it's not great for streaming or binge watching content like I like to do, 
but there are some other tools you'll find in the privacy section to secure your microphone and your webcam. There is an anti-tracker extension for your browser and social network protection that keeps you safe from any bad links. It was cool to see that Bitdefender's anti-theft function works for PCs as well as mobile devices with tools that you can access remotely from your Bitdefender central account. Now, under the Utilities tab, you'll find your device optimization tools, profile management, and a file shredder that deletes sensitive files completely without a trace. Bitdefender's tools, it adapts to your hardware, and you can set profiles depending on your activity so it won't get in the way of gaming or streaming. It did actually improve the performance on all of my devices, but there was one downside. While Bitdefender's Mac app works fine, it doesn't work as well on iOS as it does on Android, unfortunately. But Bitdefender is really good at blocking malicious code, exploits, and protecting you from attacks. And the multi-level ransomware tools have also been pretty impressive. So what about competitors? Let's talk about it. So recently I tested and reviewed Norton, which is also very easy to use across operating systems. Both companies have great customer support, but Bitdefender's expert community platform where you can get help for specific problems is definitely a big advantage. Price-wise, Bitdefender usually costs a bit less, but Norton does offer more options for business users. I'd say Bitdefender is better for personal and home protection. And while both provide great tools to prevent detect and remove malware and viruses. In my opinion, after testing, Bitdefender actually has a slight edge, especially when it came to the amount of resources tied up in scans. Norn has slightly better VPN and password tools, but I found the anti-phishing, anti-spam, and anti-ransomware protection from Bitdefender, well, it's just better. Plus, it's one of the most highly rated antivirus apps on the market known to constantly win top marks in independent lab tests. But of course, it really depends on your needs. But in my overall experience, Bitdefender is the best overall antivirus software because it just offers better performance and more useful advanced features. My experience with Bitdefender, it's great. And for me personally, I can say that it is one of the best online antivirus security products available. The free version is probably the best free antivirus software you can find, but subscribers have their choice from a bunch of different plans. The software suite extends protection to different aspects of your online life, but you don't need advanced computer skills to use it. I will continue to use it to keep all of my devices safe, and I'm happy to see that it's capable of detecting, preventing, and destroying new threats as they do come in. All right, so. That's about it. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more of my reviews and feel free to leave any questions or comments below. If you have Bitdefender, let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And as I mentioned earlier, if you do decide that you want to give Bitdefender a try, I do get a small kickback if you use the affiliate link down in the description, but it doesn't cost you anything and you get a bit of a discount, which again, you won't get if you went right to their website. So again, it's a win for us both. And if you are still here, just know that I appreciate you taking an interest in the channel. And finally, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.